Hey, I am Ms. Rauda. I'm a grade 4 teacher at Ebenezer Primary School in the Cape Winelands. In this video, we'll be looking at arrays for 2x1 and 2x2 digit numbers using our base 10 blocks. Are you ready? Let's go! Remember, when it comes to our base 10 blocks, the little cube represents our units, the rods represent our tens, and the block represents our hundreds. Now let's look at an array for 13 times 3. This is our 10 rod. This goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, and then we'll add our 3 units. This 10 plus 3 gives us 13. So 1, 2, 3, another 10 rod, 11, 12, 13, and our last 10 rod, 10, 11, 12, 13. You'll see that we have 13 rows, so it's our 10 rod, plus our 3 units. And we've got 3 columns. 1, 2, 3. So 13 plus 13 plus 13 gives us 39. Or 13 times 3 gives us a product of 39. <laughs> Let's look at an array for a 2 by 2 digit number and we'll be using our 100 block. We've already got 10 rows and 10 columns. So let's fill it up to get 12 times 12. So I've got 10 rows, 11, 12. <laughs> So now we've got our 12 rows and we'll use our tens rod to fill up our 11th and 12th column. So 10, 11, 12. And 12 by 12 gives us a product of 144. I really hope that you've learned something. Now you can build your own arrays for 1x1, one 1x2 one, one two, and 2x2 two two arrays using either the base stem blocks or your bottle caps that you might have at home. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.